I cannot believe it. There is a new GPT model named GPT Author, which is able to take a single prompt and turn it into an entire fantasy novel or any sort of book, topic, or category you give it. Now at this point, AI just keeps on evolving and getting crazier by the day. Just describing the high level details, there is a chain of thoughts of systems that are working behind the scene to write this entire book. They are also able to write papers, blog posts, and any type of literature piece that you want within a couple of minutes. Just take a look at this video example. We're able to see that it's able to output a 15 chapter novel for only $4, which is quite efficient and effective to create such something like this at this basic range. Now, you're able to get access to GPT Author locally as well as installing it through Google Colab, which I'll showcase throughout today's video. Now, it works with different types of APIs such as GPT models with Cloud Instant. You're able to configure it with free models that do not require any sort of billing link with their APIs. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be exploring as to showcase what you can actually do with GPT Author, how you can play around with it on Google Colab. We're also going to showcase how you can install it and just going more in depth with what this application is actually able to do. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned throughout the end of the video and let's get right to it. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. As we talked about the start, we're going to be taking a look at GPT Author as it's an innovative AI system designed to transform single prompts into complete literature work. Now, what's amazing to me, guys, is that you're able to create a 15 chapter novel at the cost as little of four dollars. And this is something that is quite efficient to create as you can just do this within a couple of minutes. Now, we're going to be talking a little bit more in depth as to what you can do with GPT Author, how it works, how you can use it off the cloud, as well as taking a look at installing it locally on your desktop. If you guys would like to access our private discord in which you get exclusive features, giveaways, which we have one right now. So if you're interested, definitely join through so you can access this. We're also having a lot of partnerships, collaborations and access to AI subscriptions. So if you want to get access to this, definitely take a look at this in the link in the description below. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. So with that thought guys, let's get right back into the video. So how does this actually operate? Well, it basically works as the AI is asked to generate a list of potential plots. And this is through the single prompt that is given to the cloud version or the local installation. Now, when you are basically sending this prompt in, it then generates a list of potential plots, topics, categories that it can base the prompt off of by generating whatever is needed for that prompt. It then selects the most engaging idea, improves it within the system with its AI chains, and then extracts a title for that basic plot. So after this, it then generates a detailed like plot as well as a storyline with the specified number of chapters that are needed to generate this prompt. And then it tries to basically improve upon the storyline afterwards. So each chapter is then individually written by the AI following the plot that is taking into account the content of previous chapters. So it's basically moving forward by taking reference to what it has already generated. Now, finally, with this prompt, it is then designed to like focus on making a cover art that is generated afterwards. And this cover is then basically featured for the story that is generated. So this is very, very cool. And we can see this with this example video right here. You're able to see that there is a generation of a cover art for the story that was generated. To install this locally on your desktop, you're going to need a couple of applications to do so. Firstly, you will need Git, which is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your desktop. Secondly, you will need Visual Studio Code. Thirdly, you will need Python as your code editor. So once you have all these three things installed, we can get forward and start installing this application locally on our desktop. So what you want to do first is go on to the GPT Author GitHub repository. Now, once you are here, you want to click on the green button, click copy, go on to your command prompt. Now, what you want to do is open this up, paste this link after you type in git clone and click enter. 
Now what this will do, it will start cloning the repository onto your desktop. So this might take a couple seconds, but once this is done, we'll get to the next step of the video. Now, once you have finished that, you need to copy this code over here. Now, once you have that done, you can then open this back up, type in CD, and then get into the GPT author file. And what you can do next is click enter, then paste this in pip install open AI ebook library request. Now, this is going to take a couple of seconds to around a minute. So once this is done, I'll be right back. Now, what you want to do after installing this is open up Visual Studio Code. And this is where we're going to finally launch this application. So what you want to do is open up the folder that you just recently cloned, select it. And once you are here, you can basically start playing around with this. So you can see there is a readme section, which will showcase how it operates, what you can do. There is the licensing as well as the basic installation process of how you can play around with this. Now there's actually an installation like tab which showcases what you need to do. And I highly recommend that you check this out so you can get a better idea as to how you can install this and play around with it. Now guys, once you have finished installing this locally on your desktop, what you want to do next is open up Visual Studio Code. And what you want to do is click on open folder and find the place that you have recently cloned this. So once you have found GPT author, the place you have cloned it, open that folder up and you want to open this whole tab up. Now, if you see this over here, you have GPT author version two. Now they have also made you install GPT author version one. But in this case, I highly recommend you play with the version two as it's the most updated version of GPT author. So this is exactly like Google Colab. You just need to execute different cells in which you can generate the content from a single prompt above. So you can see it will then generate everything all the way at the bottom. You give it a single prompt and you're able to basically have an output based off the number of chapters, writing style, etc. you give it. So if you go all the way up, it says in first you need to fill the cells, add it to like whatever API keys are needed. And once you have done that, you can execute it. And once you have executed each and every cell, you go all the way to the bottom where you see the prompt uh, input. And this is where you put the prompt that you want specify how many chapters are that you want to put and lastly you just work on the writing style that you want so in this case they said a clear and easily understandable similar to a young adult novel lots of dialogue and we can see that this is the prompt over here a kingdom hidden deep in the forest where every tree is a portal to another world and from this output you can see all the way over here there is an output of this and i believe a kingdom so i don't know which one this one is but it's one of these three and i'll showcase in the next clip the output of this so guys if you are actually interested in reading this i'll showcase how you can read this you're obviously able to install it with kindle but you're also able to see it with fur and if you have actually installed this and this is fairly easy you just go onto gpt author the github repository what you want to do is go on to the actual example novel outputs you can click on the version 2 outputs and you can you can see that there's all three of them over here you know when you click on view raw it will download the file the epub and what you can do is go on to uh, fur and upload that same file over here and you're able to view it so you can see that this is the output that is generated from like the whatever output example we saw and this is from just a single prompt which is absolutely amazing and it gives you a whole output of a full-on novel which is absolutely dope in my opinion guys so now let's get to the next step of the video where i'll now showcase how you can play around with this on google collab so once you are on the google collab you can see that it's exactly the same as what we saw with Visual Studio Code. You just need to click and play each single cell. Uh, if you click on these three tabs, the table contents, you'll see that there's different sections in which you can play around with. You're able to add a section. Uh, in this case, if you do not like what is generated, you can input certain prompts to help tweak whatever section that you want. And this is how you can do this with the table contents over here. Now, it's the same process. What I would recommend you do first is save a copy in your own drive. Once you have done that, you need to make sure that you change the runtime. And this is very, very critical as, oh, looks like everything froze. 
but once this is fully loaded i'll be right back there we go so what you want to do is click on runtime change the runtime type and you want to change it to the best hardware that you have available what you want to do next is select it and then click save and then click play on each and every one of them after you inputted your api and once you get all the way to the bottom you want to do the exact same thing that we talked about in visual studio code by changing the prompt the number of chapters you want as well as the writing style and this will take around a couple of minutes and once this is done you will get your output of a novel and it's fairly easy guys it's simple as that in conclusion guys this is quite astounding to see something like this i've never seen something where you can basically output a full-on novel for just four dollars it takes so much time to output something like this so huge props to the developer who has created this thank you so much for creating something like this i highly recommend that you check out everything that i talked about throughout today's video i'll leave all the links in the description below so you can access it and with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord if you want to check a look at the twitter page definitely do so follow it and check out our previous tweets so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out all of our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai content that is out there so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas